Today we're going to be graphing log functions. I chose a log function already. Log base 3 of x plus 4 plus 2. And we're going to walk through the steps. The first thing we'll do is we'll create a parent table. Then we'll shift the table and then we'll graph all the points that we shifted. We want to remember first too that these are inverses of exponential functions. So if we know kind of what exponential functions look like, we kind of know what log functions already look like too. The very first thing we can do is we can sketch in the asymptote. With exponential functions, the asymptote is a horizontal asymptote. So with log functions, our asymptote is going to be a vertical asymptote. And we find that here. Inside we have a x plus 4. We know that inside is opposite. I'll be doing a video on that at some point because it's pretty cool. So our x equals asymptote is going to be x equals negative 4. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a parent table. There are always 1, 0, and then b1 for our two coordinates. Uh, and, you know, why that is, we kind of want to remember that these are uh, inverse exponentials, so we can think of them as backwards exponentials. So let's create our parent equation first. We're going to drop off the shifts, but leave the base. And we can think of these as 3 to what? is what? But let me put a little thought bubble here. 3 to the y is x. When we complete our parent table, we kind of want to make the points as easy as possible because there's a lot of crazy points that can happen when we're, when we're looking at logs. So let's try to think about what nice x values we could have. What about 1? If my x value is 1, what would y have to be? Well, 3 to the 0 is 1, our y value be 0 to make our x value 1. So see how we're kind of working backwards, and that's what these logs are all about. Another x value that would be easy would be 3, because I know that 3 to the 1 is 3. So 3 to the 1, one y is 1, is 3. And if we wanted to continue the pattern, we could think about uh, another x value that would be easy. Um, I know that 3 squared, 0, 1, 2, 3 squared is 9, so a 9 had come from a y value here of 2. Okay, so now let's shift these points. Let's go back to our original our equation here and look at what our shifts were. We had a plus 4 inside, we know that inside is opposite, so we're going to be subtracting 4 from our x values. We have a plus 2 here, so we're going to be adding 2 to our y values. This is the same pattern that you'll see with any function in vertex form. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 plus 2 is 2. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. So now we have these points here that we can put onto our graph. Negative 3, 2, negative 1, 3, and 5, 4. Now we want to remember what these logs look like, what the parent graphs look like, and how the sh what the shape looks like. We have our asymptote here, we have our three points here. Let's see if we can sketch it in based on what we know about log graphs. I have a free graphing logs reference sheet that you can download from this post. I'll put a link below. Uh, it goes through the steps that we use to graph this log with a little, uh, with an example. It's a little different from the one that we did here. And I'll put that in the post below.